For the longest time, my greatest crime in my own mind was that I've told lies at the memorial of a 22-year-old suicide. Lucky for me, I talk in my sleep, and my voice is quite deep, so the bass in my tone bounced my words off the moon. In that echo, I heard my own voice forgiving me with the knowledge that what I had said made her mourning mother laugh and grin. That said, I never want to have to do that again. So join me. Lift your voices with mine, my friends. When you speak, try to speak deeply. Whenever you can, speak openly, speak freely. Speak so deeply you can heal the wounds caused by silence. It's not an exact science, but it is a good rule of thumb to always try to speak deeply like you're mining for gold with your tongue. Speak so deeply that you risk breaking the amps, that you shatter the glass and the lamps which light up the pain, that you rattle the chains and the clamps which keep people in place, which stop them from saying, please help me, while looking into another's face. Speak so deeply that you set off echoes in someone else's head, and in the place of, I hate myself, they hear the words, you matter, instead. If those echoes ever scatter, turn your larynx into a jackhammer, use your side voice to tear down mountains, reveal the sun, make them see that even in darkness they are loved. Let us use our lungs to create a gale so that when the rest of the world has failed we can catch people mid-air and land them back on the right side of the safety rail away from the precipice. The next time someone stares into the abyss, I want them to be able to miss their own sense of pain and helplessness. Let them be too distracted by this, the sound of our deep-voiced choir. Let them be pleasantly surprised by our song blows out the match struck to ignite the funeral pyre and leaves in its wake a more glorious light. So stand guard with me throughout the night. Be ready to fight against oppressive demon flight. Roar this life-affirming battle cry, defiant against those parts of ourselves which whisper we might lose this war. Speak deeply, boom your bass-voiced bellow. Shout at that spectre wielding the scythe and wearing the black habit. This is my life and you can't have it.